Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Tiratana Buddhist Society's Dharma Talk. So this evening, um, we'll be having uh, our a special guest. Uh, his name is uh, Venerable um, Venerable Wala um, Wallace Mole from Sri Lanka. He was ordained on seventh of May two thousand one at Purvarama Mahavihara, Richmond Hill Road in Sri Lanka, and he received his higher ordination in June 2009 at um, Purvarama Mahavihara. So he's currently a lecturer in Buddhist philosophy at the Department of Pali and Buddhist Studies, University of uh, Kalani, Sri Lanka. So um, if you wish to sponsor this talk, you can do a dana to the Maha Sangha by donating to Tivedana Buddhist Society, Kuala Lumpur. The bank account number, um, I'll be providing it soon. On screen, you'll be able to see it. The Dhamma Talk will be broadcasted online right now. Um, you can watch it on Facebook, you can watch it on YouTube. Um, and now let me uh, welcome Bante, Bante Wallace um, Mule. Um, Bante, uh, good evening. Welcome, Bante. Yes, good evening. Good evening. So uh, I will pass it over to you, Bante. Uh, Bante, once you are done, um, you can just let me know. Thank you, Bante. Thank you for coming. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
समता चक्रवासु अच्छा देवता सद्धम मुनिराज सुन सगमुखद धम्म सवन कालो अयंग बदंगता धम्म सवन कालो अयंग बदंगता धम्म सवन कालो अयंग बदंगता नमो तस् भगवत अर्हतो सन्ना नमो तस् भगवत अर्हतो सन्ना नमो तस् भगवत अर्हतो सन्ना आरोग्यमिच्छे परमंचलाभं सीलंच उद्धानु मतं सुतंच धम्मानु अतिच अलीनताच अथसद्वारा पमुखा चलेते Good evening, everybody. Uh, my dear Dhamma friends, today you are going to listen for a Dhamma talk. Especially, I have given my title as the doors to proper success. Otherwise, we can say as the doors for the proper success. Actually, I use that statement, or I chose that title. Thinking is at as a very practical theme for this current life, or for the life of the lives of the people. who are leading their life searching for the success or development everybody can and everybody wish to have a success in their lives but unfortunately most of the people believe the success depends on wealth for money when we look with the view of uh, or when we look in a buddhist perspective we can say buddha also has explained and has discussed uh, not only about the nibbana but also the success of this life also how a being how an individual should spend his this life very successfully not only the next life some people believe buddhism gives the support only for the next life it is wrong buddhism gives the support for this life too buddha has explained very well very nicely how a person can develop or how a person can be successful in this life today depending on my theme i wish to discuss with you what are the doors available in buddhism to become a proper successful person when we think in buddhist perspective we can see there is a very famous jataka story called atha sadwara jataka before go to the jataka story i would like to discuss with you 
about the background of this jataka story otherwise the present story of the jataka story when buddha was living in the period of the buddha's lifetime when he was living at jetavana temple jetavana monastery one day a millionaire who is known as uh, setti <coughs> who is known as a setti or millionaire otherwise we can say wealth treasurer he visited the buddha with his grandson uh, his grandson was in his uh, seven he was seven years old before goes to the buddha there is an incident uh, the grandson comes to his grandfather and asks a question his question was uh, what are the path lead to the welfare in simply we can say what are the path to proper success that was the question raised by this small grandson then this grandfather suppose i can give a simple answer for him but it is not suitable i should go to a person who is having the best answer for this then he remembered about the buddha and he thought to or he decided to bring his grandson to the buddha he visited the buddha with his grandson then this grandfather the treasurer wealth treasurer he explained the question to the buddha he said my grandson asked a brilliant question excellent question i have no proper answer please bless one give a proper answer for this then buddha said this small son is a very intelligent son he has a brilliant knowledge he is very great excellent not only in this life in a previous life also he had the same question in that life i gave the proper answer but by now he has forgotten the answer that's why he is asking the same question again then buddha said the previous story it is the jataka story that is the jataka story i mentioned earlier atta sadwara jataka that means the meaning of the jataka also atta sadwara jataka the uh, six doors which helpful for the proper success dwara means doors then <clears throat> buddha explained that jataka story he said uh, it is also i will simply explain that jataka story uh, one day according to the jataka story when the king brahmadatta was ruling the country one day a small child came to the buddha and asked the question what are the path that lead to the welfare of success in simply what are the path for the proper success then father explained there are six ways six paths for the proper success not only one there are six explain in those six the stanza what i have already mentioned uh, previously i mentioned or recited the stanza this father has explained with that is uh, information buddha said that 
story and again explain the same answer in the same way the answer which was given for the son the small child was the stanza what i raised or what i recited earlier arogya micche paramanchalabham silancha buddhanumatam sutancha dhammanu vatti alinatach arthasaddwara they are the six doors in this stanza they are mentioned about these six doors uh, dear dhamma friends simply we think uh, when we feel or when we hear the word success or development we feel we should be rich we should have money we should have wealth we should have children we feel only those areas when we discuss about success or wealthy life or rich life or developed life we don't feel some other areas but when it sees with the buddhist perspective the buddha has very nicely explained how a person can become a proper successful person in buddhism we can see six paths buddha has explained six methods or six paths which belong to this proper success they are known as six doors atthasadwara six doors for the proper success <coughs> what are the six doors arogya micche paramancha labha the very first door is nothing else but the healthiness or healthy life or good health the first one is good health health is very essential health means not to have diseases if we feel at least a simple headache it is very difficult for us to listen even for this dhamma talk if i have a headache it is very difficult for me to explain you the necessary dhamma facts therefore uh, therefore actually headache can make a huge harm if i feel headache it is very difficult for me to uh, concentrate on what i am explaining if you are feeling a headache it is difficult for you to listen and concentrate what i am explaining a simple minor disease can harm us a lot i didn't speak about uh, major, uh, about um, huge problems or huge issues there are many diseases which are very dangerous diseases for example cancers cancer cancer is very harmful cancer is uh, taking place in different places of the body in the mouth in the lungs we don't know any place can cancer take place then that cancer can kill the person can destroy the person can destroy his wealth can destroy his uh, all the life can destroy his whole the happiness therefore the very first door and very first most important fact is health health is very essential for if we are working people to go to the work to go to our jobs to concentrate our mind to listen them to study to work for anything good health is very essential therefore buddha considered the very first door most important door is health is the first one in dhammapada also there is a very famous stanza you may know about that it is very famous arogya paramalabha santutte paramang danang 
विश्वास पर निबाण पर इट इज एक्सप्लेन आरोग्य परमालाभ द मोस्ट प्रॉफिटेबल थिंग इज हेल्थ हेल्थ इज द मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल प्रॉफिट संतुट्ठी पर मंगन हैप्पीनेस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वेल्थ विश्वास पर मानती faith faith is the most important relation if there is no faith uh, i am not sure about my family members the wife has the suspicion on husband husband has, has the suspicion on wife then it is very harmful for the continuance of relationship always quarrels always problems therefore faith or belief among the members is very essential nibbanam paraman sukha nibbana the supreme bliss of nibbana what we are trying to achieve our final Uh, wish to achieve the supreme bliss of nibbana as buddhist we believe that that is the place where there is no birth no decay no death no harm no problem but to feel that uh, situation we have to achieve the nibbana uh, nibbanam paraman sukham that's why nibbana is known as the best happiness this happiness is nibbana because something we think it is happy for me to sit on a chair rather than standing but i can stay on the chair 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour 4 hour but thereafter i want to stand up i am waiting when can i stand up therefore no happiness is permanent everything is impermanent then nibbana is the permanent happiness we can achieve we have to work hard we have to meditate we have to do meritorious deeds that's the situation okay let's go to next though the first one is health i think it is clear how important what is the importance of uh, <coughs> health आरोग्यमीचे परमांचला we have to think ourselves we don't like to get any hurt we don't like to get any damage in the same manner the others also don't like to get any hurt any harm they love their lives just like us uh, when we discuss about seal in a buddhist perspective buddha has mentioned kaya vacha and mana kaya vacha and mana means bodily actions verbal actions and mental actions basically when we discuss about seal very important two actions are two actions means two those are there uh, verbal actions and bodily actions we have to control those things they are the uh, visible things to control or to destroy our seal if we are protecting those actions which we are doing through our body and uh, verbal sense if we are controlling those things we are protecting seal 
what are the bodily actions panadipata adinnadana and kamesu mithyachara if you are familiar with five precepts panchasila these three are very famous first one is panadipata panadipata veramani panadipata means killing veramani means avoiding or preventing then preventing from killing or taking others lives not only animals but also human beings taking the lives of others it should be prevented that is a bodily action if we are preventing from doing that bad action killing it is good for our seal then the other one is uh, adinnadana taking what is not given is similar to stealing if we are stealing it is harmful for seal if we are not stealing it is good kamesu michachara to have the sexual misconduct buddha never said to uh, prevent from sexual conduct for the lay people he allowed for that husband and wife can have a good sexual relationship but buddha discussed not to have sexual misconduct it is very harmful for a family bondage it destroys families it, it, it destroys <coughs> relationship therefore these are the bodily actions which we should be very careful and to protect the seal these are the areas we have to be careful then when when it comes to verbal actions there are four musavada parusavacha bisuna vacha and sampapalapa musavada means telling lies telling lies is a wrong thing we have to tell speak truth then bisuna vacha means actually they are burning words it is very harmful for others bisuna vacha then parusa vacha parusa vacha means fill the words vulgar words they are very Uh, cruel words we don't like to hear feel the words from others just like others also don't like to hear feel the words from us then the other one is <coughs> sampapalapa useless empty words useless words useless words are the words which creates issues in the society we are discussing about the so and so he is in this way he is in this way it is not practical it is not good buddha mentioned these four are very harmful we should prevent from those four therefore i think seela is very clear if we are practicing those seven if we are controlling those seven actions actually we are in a good virtual situation virtuous situation we are virtuous people uh, therefore buddha mentioned the second do is be virtuous first one is health second one is virtuous to have a virtuous character seal that is also very important for a success why when we are having those good qualities people like to accept us if we are not having those good qualities people and office or any department do not like to accept us as a good worker as a good individual as a good friend as a good neighbor no one likes to accept us if we are having those bad qualities but if we are having the opposite of bad qualities good qualities people like to accept us that's why buddha mentioned it as a dose uh, uh, one do for the proper success for the welfare then the third one is <coughs> buddhanumatam buddhanumatam means hearken to elders to listen to elders we have to hear to the elders elders means our parents then our uh, grand parents and people who are elder than us and have a good knowledge or have a good ethical conduct some people are there they are elder than us elder to us but they are not having good qualities 
though they are elder to us they are not having good qualities some people are they are who are trying to grab others for bad things they are not elders actually according to buddhism uh, elders are the people buddhanumatam means they are the people who are in a good quality generally parents teachers uh, reverences bantes who are associating they are elders uh, we can hear them and they are advising us they are giving advice for us in a uh, for a good perspective they are not having bad perspectives therefore listening to elders is also very essential for a proper success they are guiding us for a proper success as a monk i don't ask you to do bad things i like to show you good things not only me but uh, other monks also our venerable uh, himaloka tero also he is guiding you for a proper success for a he is giving advice for you to do good things to engage in meritorious deeds not to engage in wiles or bad things okay then i have discussed three doors for the proper success arogya then sila third one buddhanumata fourth one sutang sutang means suta means to have a uh, good experience to have good experiences or to study to engage in studies we should have uh, this ability to study well for the practical level we can say to study well uh, studying is also very essential we know we like to teach our children you are getting a huge energy to teach your children you guide them to go to the school go to classes and practice everything why you wish a good life or good success in his life therefore sutang is also very essential but when consider about sutang we have to study not only the things available in books but also we have to study the things uh, which are known or which are recognized as ethical deeds we should teach ethics to the children while teaching the things available in books or in the internet or anywhere we have to guide our children for an ethical life we should teach them how we should behave in a temple how we should talk to an elder how we should treat a poor person how we should treat to animals in buddhism we don't like to harm anyone but in some religions they are wishing to harm some are killing the acceptance rituals are killing in some religions i am not talking to look down upon any religion but in some religions they are not having good ethics they are motivating people to do harmful things that's not good therefore sutang is to study well to have a good knowledge both in the subject areas as well in the practical level how to live in the society that is very essential otherwise people good people don't like to accept us as friends or as neighbors or anyone therefore sutang is very essential then the fifth do dhammanuvatti dhammanuvatti means actually simply we can say to follow the dhamma follow the doctrines uh, what we believe actually this dhamma anuvatti means conform to truth we should follow the dhamma which can be accepted as a truth dhamma always the truth dhamma real dhamma never harms anybody real dhamma 
real virtuous dhamma never asks to any ask to harm anybody never teaches to harm anybody it teaches to protect not only others as well uh, the individual himself uh, there is a in anguttara nikaya it is explained there are different types of person individuals one person is attantap then the second one is parantap then there is another person attantap cha parantap cha then fourth one is neva attantap na parantap first one is attantap means who harms himself he is not harming anyone else but he harms himself second one is he is not ha- making harms for himself but he harms others parang tap para means others then there is another person who is harming attantap and parantap he is giving harms himself as well for others then the fourth type of person is he is not making any harm for himself as well for others that is the accepted person by the buddha buddha said the person should be a person who is not harming either himself no others he should uh, neither harm himself no others he is the accepted one in buddhism uh, therefore uh, we were discussing the about dhamma anuvatti the person who is following that dhamma dhamma is also a good uh, door to the success if we are believing dhamma and if we are protecting following a good dhamma just like buddhism we can achieve happiness not in this life but next life also after this life also we can get the happiness if we are some people or some doctrines not only not even in uh not even in this period or at present time but even in the time of the buddha there were people who were known as heretical teachers six heretical teachers shakshastru they said most of them they did not believe about karma cause and effect theory therefore they thought they are followers to be happy in that life you are not having another life to be happy don't think about merits don't think about good actions there is no merit no good actions nothing you can be happy you can lead a happy life in the same life in this life but buddhism does not have such an idea buddhism says you are having next life that means what you are doing in this life you will get the results sometimes in this life sometimes in next lives there are uh, four methods especially three methods how uh, result is given how the uh, effect is given according to our causes ditta dhamma vedani upapajya vedani and aparapariya vedani then there is another method ahosi kamma uh, all the results are cancelled but we are not discussing about those things in deal details or in deep mm. therefore my dear dhamma friends please believe in dhamma you are following and practice them it will be very helpful to have a good life in this life as well next life then the last do final one alinata cha <clears throat> alinata cha means actually not to have a laziness in simply we can say not to have the laziness but when it comes to a deep area or deep 
meaning we can say as burst attachments bonds burst attachments bonds but uh, we can simply discuss as not to have laziness alinata if we are lazy to learn if we are lazy to study if we are lazy to dumb listen dumb if we are lazy to go to work if we are lazy to wake up in the morning what will happen automatically our success is going away washing away laziness is a very harmful situation for the success we can't wait until the success is coming towards us success is not coming towards us we have to search for the success we have to work for the success we have to engage in good deeds for the success otherwise success is not coming searching for us sometimes people are waiting or oh, if i have any merit success will come to me if we if i am having uh, good quality success will come to me some things are there which are coming towards us because of our merit but all the things are not in that manner we have to work hard we have to engage in certain certain activities therefore it is very clear this alinata is also very helpful to have a successful life these are the six doors explained in buddhism these are the six doors preached by the buddha to become a proper successful man why i added this term proper success success is uh, simply we can say success is the uh, good achievement but the proper success means to get the good achievement in every way this proper success covers every stream every possible level that's why i earlier also mentioned proper success is sim, uh, similar to welfare uh, path to welfare welfare means in this life as well next life if we are following those six doors thinking they uh, uh, thinking those six doors as the path to path that lead to the success we can have the proper success in this situation as well in the next life we can have good situation that i think i will summarize my grammar so explain about six doors what are available in buddhism to have the proper success very practical we can become rich people we can become ethical people we can become virtuous people as well we can we can achieve the nibbana if we are following accepting or taking this path as the goal for the proper success we can achieve those results what are the six doors first one is arogya that means to have a good health then the next one is sila or to have a virtuous life ethical life then buddhamata buddhamata means hearken to elders is to Sutan. Sutan Sutan means simply we say to study, to have a proper study, to have a proper study, uh, to have a, an ethical study. Both. Then Dhamma Anuvatti. Dhamma Anuvatti means conform to truth, to have a truthful uh, Dhamma life. to follow the truthful doctrines the truthful dhamma you are very lucky actually buddhism is accepted 
by many people as a good a virtuous dog we are lucky to have this type of dumb dog then final one last one is ali natarta not to have the laziness simply i explain in that way therefore i think uh, you listen very carefully you can ask any question me later uh, i think i am also uh, running um, can i Uh, actually, I think you can ask question if you have. Then finally, I can uh, finish or end up my double transferring marriage to others. I don't know whether I can transfer now or after the discussion. Okay. Okay. Then I will uh, summarize them. The page. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, Mante is currently facing some technical difficulties, um, but please uh, stay on the stream. Um, so um, I would like uh, to thank everyone for coming this evening. Um, but don't worry, Mante will be back. Okay, uh, Mante will be back. Um, in the meantime, uh, please uh, enjoy. Um, these videos that we will be playing in the background, please enjoy them. All right, just um, one day it will definitely be back. Okay, I am very sorry. Suddenly, I lost my connection. Uh, okay, thank you very much for listening very carefully. Now I am ready to transfer merits. First of all, we can transfer merits to the deities uh, who are protecting you, me, as well the Buddhist order and the world. Let's transfer merits to the gods first. Uh, requesting them to protect us. Akasatha chabumata deva naga mahidika unyantang anumo ditwa chirang rakhantu sasanang chirang rakhantu desanang chirang rakhantu mankarang As well, we can transfer merits for the departure lovely ones our relatives your relatives as well the friends your friends who help for the isarana buddhist society uh, let's transfer merits to our lovely ones departed ones to be happy in their sansaric life and finally to achieve the supreme bliss of nibbana Idam me nyati nang ho tu supita hun tu nyata yo. Idam me nyati nang ho tu supita hun tu nyata yo. Idam me nyati nang ho tu supita hun tu nyata yo. 
as well we should transfer merits to the our departed lovely teachers and elders uh, as well if there is any departed member from the sangha order in isarna society or anyone who related to that society let's transfer merits for everybody to be happy in their sansarik life and finally to achieve the supreme bliss of nibbana you can say sadhu 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 as well this is a very pandemic situation with the covid 19 uh, and uh, corona virus we are highly getting the uh, dangerous situation therefore we can wish all of you with the merit or with the meritorious power you have got by listening to this type of dhamma ceremonies dhamma sermons so dhamma talk you can wish to have a good healthy wealthy happy life and to protect from all the pandemic situations and to protect from all the problems i wish you all the best and all the success wealthy happy and very peaceful life you can say sadhu and wish that happiness finally our final aim of this life hearing dhamma and doing meritorious deed our final ambition is to achieve the nibbana therefore as a final wish we can wish to have the supreme bliss of nibbana as a result of hearing this uh, meritorious dhamma talk you can say sadhu uh, thank you very much for having a patient hearing wishing you good luck i remain thank you thank you very much and triple jam bless you Sadhu, 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 Bante. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Um, so uh, with that, uh, I wish everybody a good, a good night, uh, Bante as well. A good night. And I hope everybody stays safe. Uh, so thank you so much, Bante. So um, once again, we'd like to thank Bante so much. Um, so this evening, uh, we would like to share with everybody um, some future events that will be happening with uh, Tiwatana. Uh, give me a moment, please. I have to open the document. So um, upcoming, we have quite a number. We have quite a number of uh, events that are going to happen with us here at Tiwatana. Um, and uh, as everybody can see now, uh, these are upcoming events. Um, so firstly, uh, we have... Um, Uh, we have to thank uh, any sponsors out there. Uh, we are not sure who is actually sponsored yet because we haven't received any updates. Um, this is the wrong poster. So sorry about that. Uh, that's the, for the previous Dhamma Talk. Um, we have to thank the sponsors uh, for tonight's uh, Dhamma Talk. And uh, we would like to remind everybody that our Katina ceremony, which is a rope offering to the Mahasangha, will be held soon. It will be held on 31st October 2021 in Pujong. Um, the time is yet to be announced and uh, the attendance of devotees, uh, all devotees must be fully vaccinated. We still have not confirmed whether we will permit physical attendance yet. Um, we'll provide updates further on our page. Klang Branch, Tiratana Bihara in Klang will be organizing Katina Day on 4th of November 2021. Now, uh, for both of these branches, uh, we will be having uh, our Chief Reverend Venerable Dato K. Sri Maratana as well as Venerable uh, Himoloka um, to come and perform chanting as well as the Centre's resident monks. They will be performing the chanting for Katina and they will be accepting the rope offerings as well. So, um, our weekly events for September-October 
we are having online dharma talks we are having daily online chanting um puja in the evening from tiratana vihara clan um we are still having tiratana basama rakyat um you are welcome more than welcome to donate um this uh, sop does not apply anymore so you may visit um the premises to donate um i believe now only on selected days please uh, contact the numbers or visit the website for further information Tin Ratana Bersama Rakyat is a food bank. Um, we also provide jobs as well, uh, job placement opportunities in addition to food for those who are in need. If you know anyone in need, please send them this post right now that you are seeing on your screen. You may take a picture, you may take a screenshot, you may even visit our website to find the poster. Do you have a job vacancy? Does someone you know need a job? Please visit Tin Ratana Bersama Rakyat's website if you require a job, if you know anyone who requires a job. You can continue watching Dharma Talks um, by Venerable H. Himaloka on YouTube. Just search Life with Venerable Himaloka on YouTube. You will be able to find his Dharma videos, season one fully uploaded on YouTube. Um, you'll be able to spend a, at least a few, um, an hour watching all those videos. Um, and if you are a Mandarin speaker, we have uh, our Chera's resident nun, Venerable Fa Tzu. Um, she's giving Dhamma talks in Mandarin on her own channel um, called Sing Fa Tzu Zai. You may go to the channel by Googling or searching on YouTube for Sing Fa Tzu Zai. We also have, of course, our main Tiratana channel, which is what you might be watching this Dhamma talk on. Please subscribe out to our channel and watch all our videos. It means so much to us. Don't forget, we have Sutta class every single Friday at 8.30 p.m. by Venerable Vinita. Sutta class Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Um, it will be held live on Zoom as well as Facebook. Um, the difference is that in Zoom, you can ask questions in Facebook. Um, unfortunately, Facebook uh, questions are only available for Dharma Talk, not for class. Sutta class 8.30 p.m., you may visit the Ratana Bihara TRV Clan Facebook page. Finally, Vasa chanting will be held daily until 23rd October 2021, Saturday to Thursday, 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. by Bante K. Sada. For those of you who are still with us, who are still watching the live stream, Bante Sada is actually chanting right now. You can head over to facebook.com slash trvclang, Tiratana Vihara Clang's Facebook page in order to assess the live stream. Finally, our centers, selected centers are open for in-person blessings and counseling. Puchong and Cheras branch only. For Cheras, on Cheras only for devotees nearby, subject to resident nuns approval and ongoing situation. Not all devotees will be um, allowed to come, mostly only those who have come before. For Puchong, all devotees may walk in, not walk in, so sorry, all devotees may make appointments to come physically for in-person blessings and counseling. Please make your appointments 48 hours in advance. All those attending in person must be fully vaccinated. No individuals 17 and below. Please kindly, we request that it's not such a good idea to bring your kids. You know, um, especially since most of our kids haven't been vaccinated yet, it is super, super dangerous to go out even with the vaccine. So what more with, um, without the vaccine is even more dangerous. So. Please, uh, if you want, wish to come in person, we, we can welcome you to our center. Please make an appointment for eight hours in advance. Our, our youth section, we are selling uh, Dharma-inspired merchandise. You may visit our website and our shop to purchase all proceeds. Go to the funds for the youth section. Please visit youth.tiratana.org for further information. Finally, Tiratana Charas is offering um, people to light up all lamps for good health, for blessings, for a long life. Please visit, um, please contact Sister Jackie directly at 012-321-8006 to light a lamp. Thank you so much uh, for joining me this evening on me explaining what events are upcoming at Tiratana. Um, once again, we want to thank Bante so much for coming. So uh, Bante, uh, good night. Uh. Good night, Bante. Good night. <laughs> sadu, sadu, sadu. Um, we will be ending the live stream uh, very shortly. Uh, 
everybody uh, have a good night and continue to watch our Dharma videos on our YouTube channel as uh, well as maybe join the chanting in uh, Vihara clan. So, uh, good night. Um, so, uh, you don't forget uh, to subscribe. Um, leave us a like as well. Uh, it means a lot to us, especially when you like and subscribe. And you can still share this Dharma talk to your friends, to your family, because um, after the live stream is over, the Dharma talk will still be up on Facebook, still be up on YouTube. You may share this with anybody you like. The gift of Dharma excels all other gifts. So have a good night, stay safe, and uh, I will see everybody in the future. Thank you so much, everybody.